You know, that's not normal to like give this love in return to somebody that leaves hateful comments and venom in their words. I don't sit up, none of the three of us sit up at night and go, you know what, I didn't apologize to that person that left that hateful comment. I can't sleep tonight. So Lake of Peace, I'm Coach Nadir. And I'm his wife, Coach Fatima. And I'm Coach Nyla, I am also his wife. We are the founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as your favorite coaches and authors of the new book, Let's Talk Religion Uncensored. Now, really quickly, we did a video recently entitled Our Story, How It Started, okay? Just kind of sharing with you different parts of how it started and trying to um, put a number of different pieces together in a short video, because of course, you know, it's a lot longer um, in real life, you really can't speed it up, if you will. But um, we just want to share some bits with you about our story. Because people are people. Mm -hmm. They have their opinions, their say-sos, their likes, their dislikes. Most are grateful. Then, of course, we as humans are ungrateful in general to begin with. So I just want to put out um, to let you know our story is our story. You can like it or not like it. You know, I've learned that it's not how you start, but it's how you finish which actually makes the difference. So some people have voiced just vehemently how he didn't seek her permission, he was wrong. Or he told her afterward, it was wrong. Oh my God, it just started so crazy, I can't listen to nothing from them because how it started. Yeah. We didn't ask them to. No, not at all, not at all. So that's where I am with it. Indeed, you know what I'm saying? Our story is our story. You can like it, you can not like it, whatever. If you can get benefit from some of the lessons in it, that's important. Because I know, maybe unlike those people who feel that certain way that um, it's an evolutionary process. I know that who I was 20 years ago, 30 years ago is not who I am now. Mm -hmm. There are even belief systems that have changed. True. There are ideas and things that I thought were correct that are not correct or there are ways to do things better than they weren't. That's just called getting better and being human. You it's know what I'm saying? So we don't need to apologize to you. We're not married to you. And won't apologize. No, nah, not at all. So our story is our story. You may like it, you may have similar things maybe in your relationship or what you want to go into or whatnot, but we are looking to, again, equip, empower, and engage with those who are looking to learn, looking for a healthy right. resource. And oh, I remember a mentor sweet. telling me, he was like, can you imagine being on a plane with a pilot who's never been through turbulence? And as soon as the first time you're going, you hit some turbulence and you hear the pilot, oh my God, what's going on? You get a little crazy? Yeah, you don't, you don't really want that. You know what I'm saying? You want somebody who's kind of been through some of the storms, been able to navigate through them to be able to let you know, you know what? I've been there. I've done that. I've experienced some similar things. And these are the steps I took that helped prayerfully. They could also help you. And not just that. It's I ain't never sat up and had somebody hate me and go, I didn't say sorry to them. They hate me. <laughs> I've never I've never met anyone that said, you know, that's not normal to like give this love in return to somebody that leaves hateful comments and venom in their words. I don't sit up, none of the three of us sit up at night and go, you know what, I didn't apologize to that person that left that hateful comment. I can't sleep tonight. For living my life. It, honey, I, the, the ways we go to sleep because we have other things to do. We can't lend our energy to that negativity or else we can't produce this work. That people that people The people that are actually appreciative of it, that need it, that ask us uh, to help them, they ask for help. And we know what it feels like to be in that place where you don't have it. Mm. So yeah. that's where the energy is going to go from us. Now, we'll make some time to give some clarity for those that don't know any better or for those that want to be a little petty in the comments and be a little hateful. You will get a comment and you might mess around and get blocked. However, we're really here for the people that really care about their families and the success of their families in polygyny. And marriage, marriage and in marriage is polygyny. There's a, you know, that's an alternate form of marriage, but we care about both monogamy and polygyny. Uh -huh. and that's the thing, it's more, uh, it's more of those who are looking for the help, who are getting insight and learning new things than there are 
uh, than there are of those who are spitting the venom. But they're there. <laughs> they're there. Um, but when it comes down to it, you know, that's your projection. That's your life. That's some, that's like something about you. You know, right. if you are the person that feels like you really have to have the need to discuss or put out how upset you are about how another person is living their lives, um, how they started their um, marriage journey, how they're teaching others on how to do that. You are not giving any benefit at all to the people who are trying to learn. Girl, what's wrong with you? Girl, polygamy, polygamy. I'm hearing it everywhere. Polygamy this, polygamy that. Men want to be married to more than one wife. I'm sick of hearing it. Who want to be dealing with something like that anyway? I mean, I don't have a problem with it. What? Well, I mean, if it's done right. <laughs> Who's doing polygamy right? We can't even find how to do polygamy right anyway. What was that? I heard that too. <laughs> what is this? Wait a minute. Let's talk polygamy uncensored. The practical no nonsense guide to practicing polygamy, right? <laughs> you heard that right. And if you want to get your copy shipped to your door, make sure you go to letstalkpolygamy.com so you can learn how to practice polygamy properly. You know, we know why we do this work. We know why we decided, because we could have kept this a secret. We could have just, you know, from y'all, not a secret. You know, we could have lived our own <laughs> life all happy-go-lucky and doing our thing and constantly growing on our own. However, we decided to say, you know what? There are a number of people out there, <laughs> people that we don't even know, people that we are reaching, that we are they're touching with this message and the, 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 um, stuff that we've went through, the ups and downs and ebbs and flows and everything like that, the stuff that we've been through that's helping people to not go through or have to grow through the same mistakes that we've made. You know, so just like Coach Nathan said about the pilot and the turbulence, you know, just like you have the um, teacher, what um, teacher you want to learn from if you're trying to be in shape? You want to learn from the fat gym teacher or you want to learn from the, you know, in shape gym teacher? Or you want to learn from the broke economics teacher? Or you want to learn from the economics teacher who know how to do trading and all the other good stuff? So when it comes down to what we do, we don't do it just to get, we don't do it for the likes. We don't do it for the kudos. We don't do it for the praise. We do it to help people. We do it to help those out there who are seeking um, ways and tips and understanding of how to live this life, whether it's in monogamy, whether it's in polygyny, because polygyny can be challenging and monogamy can be challenging just as well. So we're not going to pretend like one is more challenging than the other. They may have different dynamics, but living with someone, growing with someone, having a marriage with someone that's not you, because <laughs> we have challenges with ourselves sometimes. We need assistance in those areas. There's not a, a one size fit all type of thing, but we can tell you what works for us and what works for our clients and what works for other people. And if you are willing to take that, then great. If you're not, keep on pushing on, keep on going, because you're not benefiting anyone, not even yourself. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> now, I will say polygyny is definitely more challenging than monogamy because the different dynamics and the lack of resources and things that are out there, period. So, yeah, um, monogamy is something that's socially accepted, socially engineered over the last few hundred years to be that's what's normal. So there's a lot more resources there with that. Nevertheless, um, with that being said, if you want to go deeper um, than our YouTube channel, because, of course, we do um, have different co uh, courses. They do um, counseling and coaching. Um, you could, of course, go to polygamymasterclass.com. Um, and get details on that or go to our website, Outstanding Personal Relationships, or just make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, but we come out with different topics as well um, on that end. But just know that when new levels come, new devils. So if you're new in polygyny or, or relationship, what have you, then just understand as you go and as you grow and as you change, others may feel uncomfortable because of that. And that's really not of your concern. That's their problem. That's a them problem, not a you, you problem. You know what I'm saying? For and real. just know that don't be blindsided by people's hatred. Just know it's going to be there. The love is going to be there. The hatred is going to be there. We weren't blindsided. We're still not blindsided by anybody's hate. We expected it. Indeed. But we don't embrace it. No doubt. Because, again, new levels come new devils. And the only time you're not going to have hate is if you're not doing something. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. Anything else? No, we just okay. hope you all got some gems from our video. <laughs> Definitely drop them. <laughs> um, the long and the short of it, if your intentions are, is to have um, outstanding relationship and marriage and everything like that, people are going to say what they want to say. People are going to project what they want to project. But you know what your goal is and you know how you want to get there. And if you don't, you know that we're here for you. So, Indeed. So put in the comments, zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. Zero. <laughs> All right, so zero tolerance. We appreciate you. We're in with some GLC. Make sure you're growing intentionally. Loving fearlessly. And connecting on a higher level. Every, every single, single day. day. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Peace.